if you are in IT, you are very smart by hand. Uh, need to edit by hand uh, because we are we are the reverse learners lah. We have to do it by hand so that we can learn it learn it by paper later. So yeah. Did you go to ITE because you didn't study hard? <laughs> um, I think the honest answer is yes, because I didn't do well enough during my O-levels. For me, uh, N-level, I did um, um, not very well, but also not very bad. It's around the borderline. I don't really pressure myself on studying. I'm really carefree. So I just do whatever I can. If I can't, then yeah, that's, that's it. Lah. <laughs> yeah. uh, I did well for my N-level. I got four Bs and one A and one C. So I did pretty good, but I was a normal technical student. So I couldn't go to poly. And I think also the family dynamics at home. You know, my, my mom was a single parent and she was busy just trying to make ends meet. So I did not really have a very good um, uh, sort of parental guidance from my mom, and um, you know, and she left the decisions to me. Honestly, uh, when I studied during intervals, all I wanted was to like actually go to poly straight away. But um, my cutoff point wasn't enough to get into poly. So when I got my end level results, I was having like a mixed emotion. I, like I don't know how like to feel about it. It's just that when I was in secondary school, um, some really like look down into it and then they're like, there's no point in going to a school where you cannot have a future, you know? You know, during the O-level um, handout of the results, um, of course it was done in a hall. And then after that, those who didn't do so well were shifted to another room, right, where they had school counsellors or school aides, you know, on standby for students who didn't do so well. But it wasn't more of an encouragement, but it was more like, um, you know what, ITE should be better for you because, you know, it's better for slow learners. I think it did not help affirm myself in any way or any of my friends. So I felt, um, you know, like I really wasn't good enough. Yeah. What negative things have you heard about ITE? They have nowhere to go, so they go to ITE. Yeah. They say you go ITE, you won't be able to like have a secure job at the end after you graduate. Before I joined ITE, the negative things I heard were, you know, it's a school for slow learners. But when I went into ITE, I realized that actually no, there are like different kinds of learners, there are all kinds of learners there. I would consider myself an average learner. But I think for me, it's very different because I really wanted to challenge myself and, and again, get the foundations right. Um, I wanted to go on like a safe route where, you know, you just take like um, business services. But then um, my parents actually talked through me and then they said, um, why not you do something that um, it's out of your comfort zone? So I was like, Okay, this floristry seems like cool, but like it seems like scary because like it's really doing something I've never done before. And so um, I just went for it. I'm not very concerned about what other people perceive about the school. I just do what I love, so it doesn't affect me that much. Yeah. If you're in IT, you're very smart by hand. Uh, need to edit by hand. Uh, not everyone can do things by hand. Everyone can read. Like, can you put it in a practical way? No, because we are, we are the reverse learners. Like. We have to do it by hand so that we can learn it, learn it by paper later. So yeah. On a day-to-day -day basis, we get to experience things that are preparing us to go into the workforce. Be it a hairstyling, a beauty therapy, IT or culinary student. From there, we can actually experience the working environment in the real world. IT students are known as noisy people. It's, it's just because they are just loud. So I was one of them. So if, if I shouted, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> so yeah. For me, when I went to IT, my parents was really afraid of my friends uh, because most of us is like more outgoing. So they, are, they were scared. Lah. But when they came from, from to my house for open house, Dibawali and all, so they, they got to know my, my, about my parents and all. So they were talking to each other. Lah. So we will talk about work life, most of the times life, what we're going to do next and, and think about uh, what we can do better. So that's why my parents were assured of that we are together and thinking about the good stuff rather than the negative side. How is the IT education valuable? 
It's valuable because, you know, we do hold our place in the industry as well. You know, we've got employers coming, you know, putting the students in internships and also full-time employment after they graduate. So when I went for my internship the first time, they was really like surprised like, oh damn, you guys can work. Okay, so after that, they started to took IT students for intern. So till now, there's lighting and sound students uh, doing internship at the company I was intern. Like. So we were the first batch of students who actually had the technical engineer diploma course, right? So they got a training partner from um, the Ministry of Youth and Culture in Germany, Baden Württemberg. So when we got the certificate, it was a dual cert. So it was in German and it was also it was also in English. So the German certificate would actually allow us to pursue further studies in Germany if we wanted. Yeah, IT cert is like a ticket. It's like an entry pass to go to wherever you want to go. But it's not just about the cert that can bring me into the workforce. It's more on the things I did and the type of opportunity I get. The teachers in ITE, they actually encourage you to do more than studies. They'll help you to discover your skill set and they'll teach us what to do, how to improve and even send us for competitions. Yeah, so last time I was always fooling people and after getting the sense of uh, achievement and having the opportunity to lead, like I started to have the, the drive, you know, to challenge myself more. So. Um, right now, I always try to upgrade myself before, before even being told to, yeah. So last time in secondary school, I was actually more like a freeloader where I just, you know, be in group projects for the sake of just being in a group. But in ITE, um, with the friends and lecturers I was with, I was actually more of like the leader instead of like the freeloader because with the way they like inspire and like motivate me, it just helps me realise that I have more potential in me than I had in secondary school. So I, I really like the lecturers in ITE and I still um, keep in touch with them. They were very patient, they were very kind and they come with a lot of real life experience. During uh, secondary school when I loud, I usually um, get like scolded or just go out from the class. But in ITE, in a different way, the lecturers say, uh, it's okay, you can talk but just be quiet a little bit so that I can talk. Uh, it's like, okay, yeah, he's giving me the respect, I need to give back. It's, it's a human nature. Lah. If you give me respect, I'll give you big respect. Man. So I think they, they taught us that without we learning about that itself. Yeah, I still contact them to this day. You know, they were participating in probably some of my big life milestones, right? Like they were at my wedding. A lot of them came for my wedding. You know, all of them gave ang baos. And that's how they call me for this. Lah. Do you regret going to IT? Do I regret going to IT? I don't regret going to IT. My answer is no. <laughs> yeah, my answer is no. I don't regret going to IT. Uh, no, don't regret at all. No regrets. Um, for me, it would be the opposite of regret. I'm very <laughs> happy. <laughs> Hing, uh, I went to IT. I uh. actually took away a lot of things in IT. The skills that I have learned, the friendship I have fought, and also the me that has grown a lot. Last time when I was in secondary school, I thought I was very useless. <laughs> yeah. So after getting in and out of ITE, I feel that the world has changed. Like there's a lot more things outside where I can do. I know how it felt like to be, you know, helpless. So actually, yeah, I mean, I, I help people as much as I can. If you can find a place that you can fit in, definitely you can excel. I've always been an introvert all along, but in secondary school, I was like a, a really, really introvert person. But then ever since I stepped into ITE, wow, I just felt like I can socialise the whole school. Because <laughs> I was in student council and then I was um, taken up into a position of a vice president. So obviously, I would have to like, you know, talk a lot and then I just need to like um, get people together. I wouldn't say that now I'm an extrovert, but um, I'm just really like, glad that like I'm able to socialize more thanks to like being in like a great environment where people actually are open to like being comfortable with me and then it's just really like nice to be that way. Yeah. The environment was like like a home to me lah. Uh, when I stepped in the first day itself, it was busy but everyone was like hey hi welcome to IT and all. Some of the posters of the IT students were actually in the bus stops and all that. Some of the parents actually reach out to me on LinkedIn, you know, and they and they say, can you speak to my child and can you offer him some encouragement because he's going through ITE now. And when I saw the message, I nearly cried, you know, because I was like, I remember that time when, you know, no one was there to offer me any help. And I can imagine like 
the parents' heart for their child was that they really wanted to help their child but they do not know how because they never went through ITE. So when I have, you know, when parents come and reach out to me on LinkedIn, I feel like it maybe that's what I'm here to do. Is like at the end of the day, it's really to encourage the students that are just entering and the students that are very um, dejected, right? So maybe that's my my purpose in the end. I didn't feel bad that I went to IT, that I didn't do well or anything. No, because I really found out about myself in IT, uh, really who we are and what we really can do and how to break the barriers in, in life. Uh. So everything was taught in IT. Uh. I don't mind repeating the whole four years in IT. Yeah. No worries, I, can, I don't mind going in again. Yeah. I actually go to school every day. <laughs> like I don't want to miss any of the day. Yeah, because it was really fun. If you can work together at a same pace, same mindset. It's it's really fun. Uh. I mean, yeah. So I think I would say to my 17-year-old self, um, not to be so down and dejected and to just keep going forward. There is a diamond in the rough, you know, just waiting to be polished. I think I saw myself differently after that. We spent some time in IT and I think, um, you know, it has definitely shaped us a lot and definitely shaped us for the better. Where does your future lie? Is it in grades, background, experience or character? We hope this episode of Kenasme has been refreshing and sheds light on how an institute like ITE can be a great environment for students to learn and grow in. Visit the link in our comment section below to find out more about ITE. And during our series, you can watch more Kenasme episodes on our playlist over here. Remember to click on the bell icon to be notified of our latest episode.